It's actually a 3v3 challenge. Uh, Onj, who is also observer in this game, is sponsoring this event. It's a small best of five event. And the winner team is getting money from Onj, this player, who's also watching. So we have the White Eisinger player Solas, his ally, the Red Mora player Mustafa, and the Blue Alvin player Sauron, facing and fighting against the Grey Mora player Barking using the Almighty Me. We have the Green Goblin player Matthias Merix and the Yellow Mora player Erby. The map is actually pretty slow, uh, small. Very small when you think about this. But we have also the chance to expand behind, you know. But the distance is so short. Holy. The good thing is your teammates are also very close to you. So the assistance is going to be way faster. So you can help them way easier. Tavern build up coming here for, for Varking. We have two Goblin Cave into the Goblin Cave number two. From Meti and Erby building up Orc Pit while his ally will go for the Corsairs. There is an outpost here, outpost here, and yeah. So we will have a lot of fights with the outpost. Corsair coming up for Mustafa, and Sauron building up a barracks into the barracks number two. So that's going for the Uruk pit, for the Urukai. Of course, Uruks are stronger, way stronger than Orcs. The Erby will be able to get to this outpost a bit faster. However, you know, of course, Uruks can destroy this. No problem. Every second matters. So you want to expand behind a little bit. I don't think this is going to give you too much value because it's in the corner. In the, in the previous patches, I think, this used to give you like a cooldown reduction on your abilities. Corsair is coming. Getting to the tunnel. Captured by Matty. They are stealing money from Matty. Poison Blades to kill them a bit faster. Cave pads to make them a bit weaker. It's a 2v1 situation. I think Goblins are still faster than Corsairs. Crossbow Man. Clan Sitting coming up next. Outpost will be getting destroyed eventually by the Uruks. I will be used to get leadership on the Orcs. Crossbow Men are killing them. But again, the, the outpost is so weak, you know, it's so squishy. Destroying it is literally not very really hard. Only one outpost remaining. All the other outposts get destroyed. Solas expanding behind two furnaces. Also Mustafa, but Mustafa is building it a bit close to the work layer. The Warriors are not dealing too much damage to the Slaughterhouse. It will take them some time to destroy it. This one is under control from Matty, but it will go down eventually. Archers protecting, protected by the pikemen. Everybody is coming to the middle area. Oh, nice micro actually from, uh, from Erby. Good trample into the backline. The outpost has been finally destroyed. It's so much fiesta. Hard to focus, you know? Spider Pit level 2 incoming for the Spider Riders for Meti. Level 1 Haradrim Paris. Level 2 Haradrim Paris and 2 Orc Pits level 1. Clan setting level 2 for the for the Extrovers. Beautiful trample from Mustafa. Killing a lot of Orcs from Erby. And will anybody repair the outpost though? I have my doubts about this. Especially now because it's kind of expensive. 500 early game is kind of a lot, you know? Get moving. Give them some air. Move together. Keep going. Keep going. A lot of fights simultaneously all over the map. Three furnaces by Solas behind, so his eco should be kind of good. Outpost repaired by Solas too. He was repairing his own outpost, and also Erby is doing it. So Erby is repairing his outpost too. Only Matty doesn't do it yet, but he might do it as well. 
archery range. Yeah, I mean, barracks, two barracks, no heroes, no statue yet. Sauron doesn't repair his outpost either. Beautiful trample by the spider riders from Meti. Very well done. Field is trying to get in safety. So let's some units around this location. Oh, Erby making a big mistake. Exposed archers. Poison arrows coming in clutch. Almost one-shotting them, actually. But remember, Erby is getting money, and Solas is getting money. Fight here between Uruks and Easterlings. Uruks should be, I mean, the Easterlings should be able to win this one with the help of the Oryx. I will be used to kill the Spikeman a bit faster. This also should be a win for Erby. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Sentry to protect this outpost, that's good. Sauron doesn't want to rebuild this. Because he knows he can't protect it. That comes the big war chant. Okay, that's going to be the biggest fight in the game so far. So he needs the help of his ally. That's a huge army of Erbi. And also a huge army from... Oh, beautiful Barking. Nice. He killed all the backline. Exposed archers. Fire... Uh, oh my goodness. Holy... You see this, guys? The fire bombs. Here it's going to be used. Nice micro from Meti over here. And also... Look at this, how many archers does Erby have? But also many, many extrovers. Many, many extrovers from, from Solas. Okay, Musa was able to win this fight. That's good. So far, they are kind of holding it. Warchen has been used. The Malone tree has been destroyed. Spider Riders need to be careful. There are too many Spider Riders from Meti. Solas is making a move. He was able to destroy the outpost from Erby. I see you. So many extrovers, but only one pikeman. So if Meti can get a beautiful trample off, if he can kind of avoid riding into the pikeman around this location and get into the backline, they will be actually massive. Because look at this. He has like five battalions of extrovers and only one pikeman to protect them. He was also able to defend this tunnel level two. That's good. Erby needs help. Erby needs help desperately. Only one pikeman. If the archers can kill the pikeman somehow, Meti has to help his ally. Like, he has the perfect answer to this. Yeah, look. Solas is trying to micro. Meti is just riding it down. And you see, that's why you don't want to be greedy like this. Solas legit lost everything over here. That's why you don't want to be greedy like this, you know? <laughs> Using one pikeman to protect like six extra battalions, that's not going to be good. Yeah, Solas is expanding crazy behind. He has like, I want to see his command points. Let me take a look into this. Yeah, he has E25. But he has not many army. He has not much army left on the field anymore. The war sentry is going down. Too many spider riders. Only few pikemen. The builder might be in trouble here. Can he get a can he get to build a wall up? No, he can't. He will get one-shotted. Solas needs help. Sauron has to come to help his ally. But the same situation over here too. One pikeman to keep all these archers. When you see your opponent spamming spider riders, I think it's kind of int to not spam pikeman. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Look, there are so many lancers, you know, from Erby 2. Okay, Erby should be able to win this fight. But nobody kind of expands in the side lane like Solas does. Solas is like legit everywhere furnaces, even in the opposite side of the map. Commitment to the outpost from Mustafa. The Spider Riders, they are still alive. But remember, this team has no good faction. So nobody can actually build a well so this spider riders can heal up to full hp imagine if one of these players you know there are two murders imagine one of them being like elves or men or something like this it would be so good for Matty. Matty is doing a phenomenal i mean for me personally Matty is the mvp from the three games even if he lo if he if they might lose this game the way Matty is playing this is phenomenal like flawless gameplay
with Azok. Urbi is also building up an army here with Orc Archers and Orcs. Uh, but his command points kept. He's finally kind of scouting this area and finding those unprotected furnaces. He will be able to take them down one by one. Because, you know, Solas is like legit nothing to defend this. So he's going to lose a lot of command points in the next 30 seconds. Sauron is up to 600 command points in total. We have Black Riders up on the field from Bar King too. That's very good. When they get level 2, they will unlock the Dread Visage for the debuff. Men of Harad! Men of Harad! Mustafa is also Siege Wars, but it's only level 1, so he needs to still get it to level 3 to get to recruit the Black Riders. I don't think um, a Fialbis would be a good choice here, because there are so many Spider Riders. If they all turn into the bow mode from Meti and they all use the poison arrows, they can actually one shot your Fialbis. Look, Urbi in the meantime cleaned almost everything from Solas. 525 command points for Solas only. He went for the Devastation. We've also uh, Gothmog for Barking. Outpost also for Meti in the middle. Urbi has his own outpost. But again, level 3 unlocked already. Level 6 will unlock the Fireflight. If even Mouth of Sauron upon the field for Urbi. Mustafa is kind of weak. Because the, the timing was kind of poorish. He went for the Black Riders, but it was pretty much at the same time as Meti was able to get the Dragon Lord on the field. Haldir, the Builder, is going to get bitten. Get, gives 88 because of the Scavenger from the Spellbook of the Goblins. That's why Matty is also getting so much money. He's gonna use Fireball on the Mirk Boots. Only three more remaining. Might be able to finish them off. But there are some 
archers here. You need to avoid them because the damage they are dealing to you with leadership from high leaders can immense. So be careful. Mustafa is putting pressure from the other side with uh, his archers and orcs against Irvi. But Dragon Lord, again, if you micro him well, you shouldn't lose him. And you, he should be like a power point farmer for you. He has like a huge army, Solas. It's a huge army, right? But this time he has also many more pikemen. So he has Sharku, a bunch of extrovers, and also two battalions of pikemen. Sharku also going to be great against spider riders. I think spider riders are actually the most annoying units to fight against for Solas in this game. Govmok is on the hunt. He's level 4. Tower from Urbi will be destroyed by the you know, wild men and by the pikemen. Mustafa. Oh, this is going to be bad for Govmok. The black rider is going to be melting him, no? But they are being body blocked by his own units. Now they're going to be able to attack and they are hardcore countering your heroes. Govmok, tomato or no tomato, getting bitten actually. Oh, son! The splash damage from the Witch King! Oh, you don't want to be clumped like this, man. He killed like whole, the whole army with two hits. What an attack. <laughs> like, it was horrible, horrible situation here, man. Four days and 16 hours. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Pro slice. And also for the gifted subs. Industry has been used from Mordor. So, okay, so let's take a look into the power points. Solas managed to get to the field of fire. He has devastation, so his power points are designed to give him money, to make him rich, okay? He's up to 825 command points in total. He was holding this old also. The power of mortal. There can be no victory. He was holding this outpost also for a very long time. Then we have Sauron, that's the Elven player. He's up to 10 power points after the Elven Hood. 500 command points only. Mustafa, the Red Mordor, he's up to 875 command points in total. That's actually a lot. And he has in industry and 5 power points after that. So, on the opposite Brother! side, <laughs> we have the Mordor player Almighty Me. He has 6 power points after the industry, 825. He has over 3,000 in the bank. He was just investing into the uh, Witch King, I think. He had like 3,800. Matty has 1,000 command points. He has the Watcher. Four power points rich. after this. And he's rich, pretty much. He's Drogov, level 5. And Urbi, 525 command points. The model player, the yellow model player. He is up to 13 power points, almost 15, which will give him the chance to get to. Ooh, fireball! The explosion, though. I mean, he has almost the worm. But the Dragon Lord is no more. And now we have catapults, a lot of them. That's gonna be a big, big turnaround. I see you. What are you doing, Mouth of Sauron? <laughs> oh boy. So many extroverts. Where are the spider riders at? I, actually, I don't know. But we know that Matty lost his. Dragon Lord. Does he have Gorgoroth's Spire Fireball? He could go for it because he has the upgrade for it. So he needs to invest another upgrade, then he can unlock this. Imagine Gorgoroth here. Could be nice. I think Gorgoroth on a map like this could be massive because the gap is so short that you can land it on the enemy castle and you can have two Gorgoroths with two more doors. Think about this. I think it's good. It's a good investment, no? I think Gorgorov is better in terms of destruction compared to the lightning from the Isengard Fortress compared to the eagle or the, to the fire drake. So I would love to see Gorgorov. What is the Switch King doing? Okay, he's getting dismounted. Mordor is going to be kind of able to defend himself. Egalo, thanks for the 21 months. Almost two years, my friend. Three more months and then two years. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Eagle or just resubscribed for 21 months. Ahoy. Almost two years. Thank you so much. Cloudbreak has been used from Sauron. 
stunned them all. Who is this Black Rider from Mustafa, right? Yeah. The Witch King. Barking. Is dead. Okay, they are, now they are losing actually. Level 4, Saruman. Mirkwoods. Oh, that, that's gonna be difficult to defend against. Look at how many extra ways. Does Lords have leadership? Yes, he does. Okay? But he also this guy has leadership in Golden Arrow. So the amount of <laughs> ranged firepower is kind of immense, you know? They're so strong. God killed the Goblin King. Ezok. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, nice reaction, but he still lost a lot. Imagine if he would not move for like a one more second. He would have lost everything. Haradrim Axis from Erbi trying to do something. Azok, level 6. Can he do something? He's using the Great Battle Rage. Half Throw Swordman with Armor from Meti. Gorkil, uh, I mean, he got crippled. Poison Sting is available. Trampoline coming. Hard focusing down. Gorkil. Gorkil is gonna die here. No, not yet. Oh, Fireball. The Dragon Lord is back in the business. He has now the Fire Flight. He's gonna use the Fire Flight. Hopefully, he's not gonna use it against the extra overs. He should be using it on the on the on the level five midfoot archers. Be a much better call. Level four. The midfoots are hitting way too hard, though. That's the problem. Solas is so rich. Like he's literally so rich. You know, the the money making field of fires is making him pretty much go Bill Gates. You know. 21 power point two. He has almost 25. He's gonna unlock the dragon summon. Drake is playing too scared as he should because he's very squishy against arrows and they will one shot you. If Mirkwood's level five with leadership, you are dead. You know. Luri, Luri, Lu. What's up, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I don't know, man. This game is kind of immense. It's hard to tell who's gonna win this. Mustafa is still fight uh, the Black Riders upon the field, level 4. This wizard and his fighting Urukai are so painful to play against, too. The barrage is gonna do the trick, though. This one is actually from... Who is this? From, I think, Erbia. Yeah. Erbia didn't go for the worm, he went for the barrage. Okay. Oh, look, the Black Riders are actually taking a lot of damage. Oh, healed! Oh, I didn't know you can heal them too. But he healed them. Elven play healed them. Back to full HP. Level 5 from Barking are getting away. Level 7 you need to be for the Screech. Outpost building up. But Solas is now having upgrades too. And he's fully focusing down RB. I still think... Oh, the Fire Drake has been summoned too. Ooh, what a nice shot from the Dragon Lord. X uh, throwers with the Forge Blades, by the way. But the army has been slaughtered from Erby, uh, from Solas. Fire Drake has not much time left anymore. He is going to be gone. And I think if you destroy the catapult, but be careful, there are Haradrims, archers, barbed arrow shot chunks you, if you don't know. Oh, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Okay. Dragon shouldn't have much time left anymore, right? Yeah. Solas trying to make the best out of his summon. But poison arrows coming. The level 5. Okay, nice micro from Barking. Getting there. But don't lose level 5 or level 6 rather. For no reason. The Drake has no more time left. The Fortress is still full HP. And remember the catapult has been taken down. Without the catapult, it's going to be difficult to commit and fully commit. To this be careful with the dragon lord too i mean without catapult it's hard to destroy this fortress it's too tanky the witch king from mustafa is level three fire drake the witch king also here level five is gonna be able to kill a catapult we have mirk woods now with the silver arrows meti is still a huge army of half trolls with upgrades 
Mustafa is kind of inting his witch gank. But there is nothing it can shoot. Barking has the Gorgoroth Spy Fireball. He has it. There is nothing that can shoot the Witch King or what. This army is looking strong from Meti, but also the army from Solas and also from, you know, Sauron doesn't look any weaker. Mustafa is using the barricade. No Gorgoroth's fire fireball from this, but he has the Gorgoroth. And we are waiting for it. He's gonna use it in this game, definitely. But the question is, when? They're holding it. 17 power points for Sauron. Mustafa went for the barrage. Two power points for Barking. He's still a lot of power points away from his 15 and 25. Meti has his dragon. Meti is summoning his dragon here. Destroying the level 3 buildings, level 2 buildings in the armory. Gorgorov, we're gonna keep an eye on that one. Maybe that's gonna be the perfect opportunity for the Gorgorov. Yes, but Gor Gor Gorgorov is coming! Here we go! Gorgorov is killing! Okay. The golden dragon from the goblin player, Meti. Let's see how much more damage he can deal. Remember, the Mirk Woods with Silver and Arrows actually kind of hurt them. He missed the level 2, but it's fine. He destroyed the level 2. And uh, he went for the Tranduil now. Fully commitment, no upgrade on the fortress. Dragon Lord is not healing up. A dragon nest. You need to get the dragon nest though to get him healed. You know, on your up on your fortress is upgrade. Actually, Garfinel is killing him. He killed him. Okay, but still good amount of damage dealt to Sauron. Not gonna lie, like he received a lot of damage. He lost all the barracks. He lost the he lost the armory. So he can't really do much at this point. The problem is that both the other people, both the other players, like Erby is still 15 power points away from his own 25, you know? And uh, that's that's a big problem. Because Sauron is gonna have his 25 very soon. Like four more power points. He's gonna have to flood. And flood against lined up base like this. Look at this. You see this? So flood like here, it's gonna be devastating. Devastating. It looks like we're gonna get into the next game, boys. I think, I mean, I, I don't wanna jinx it, but I think Solas, Sauron, and Mustafa won this game. Level 1 Tranduil. Level 5. Gorgorov is reloading. No Gorgorov for Urbi still. But he should go for Gorgorov in my opinion. He should. Just why not, you know? More the catapults here. Everything level 3. Amazing looking beast. But again, you know, one dragon summon can change it. Half trolls. Strong. But are they strong enough? Solas is super rich. Uh, I mean, he can give so much money to his allies too. But also, Barking is kind of rich. He has five, for almost 5,000. Menti is kind of poorish, but it's fine. Er, I mean, everybody at this point is kind of rich. Uh, like, legit, everybody is kind of rich, you know? Nazgul! And Nazgul. Level 5 Black Riders from Mustafa. Fireball from Saruman. This, this fortress is so tanky. Ooh. Mouth of Sauron gets one-shotted. The Watcher, we missed the Watcher from Meti for the second time. Look, also Meti is like so much, you know, behind. Solas doesn't have as much as I would expect him to have. There are still many, many areas he could expand eventually. But it's fine. He has Uruks over here with Forge Plagues Heavy Armor slaughtering the Easterlings. He has even Black Orcs from Urbi. Urbi Black Orcs also have upgrades. But I think Uruks are still a bit stronger. Mirkwoods with Silver and Arrows again. You know, sharing experience with Tranduil, who's now level 4. 
Is the dev, uh, you know, dead eye. I see you committing to the level 3, Malone 3 from Sauron is gonna go down, but that comes the Golden Arrow. They can't move, they are scared, they are stunned, they can't, they can't, they can't. No resistance to fear. There is Kofmok level 5 and we need him. In the Malone 3 level 3 from Sauron will be just fine. Just fine. Solas keeps pressuring all the time, but you can see the beast is so durable. And the catapults with Firestone keep shooting all the time. So without siege weapons, I'm being honest with you, I don't see a hope for the extroverts to destroy this. They can't. What's up, Zoe? Oh, level 6, score kill, won't reach level 7. Oh! Herbie has been unlocked. Walk into me, bro. But the yes the flat. Wrong, God Morga. A demon of the ancient world. So remember when somebody was saying Glorfindel was the one who was killing the Balrog? <laughs> Not in this game. <laughs> Not in this game. How many could Oh, the breath fire is gonna be juicy. Oof, the breath fire is gonna be juicy. Okay. I mean, he can Oh, never mind. But the catapults here from, we bring spears from Mordor are actually slaughtering now the, the, the fortress from Erby. Help me, elves! Help me, elves! But uh, Erby needs help too. Flat is still available for Sauron. Keep that in mind. Oh! He, he could shoot one more. Or oh, this could be it. Yeah, this could be it. This guy might be able to finish it now. Watch this. Three levels. We come from yeah, you need to kill the catapults, man. Okay, that's big. I mean, how much money does Erby have? Not enough. I mean, I mean, obviously his ally can give him money. I mean, only <laughs> Varkin can give him money, but does he have a builder though? He has a builder, okay. Level 10, Lourdes. The fighting Urukai. Gorgorov, available. The Dragon Lord, I think he has been killed again. I don't see him on the field anymore. Witch King from Mustafa is level 3. The Flood against Metis Mercs. Killed all the army real quick, okay? This uh, this fortress has no upgrade, by the way. So it, when it's, when it, it's gonna hurt. Cloudbreak, stun. And they're gonna call it. GG. Well played. Well played.